I hated last year's box. Let's see if they can impress me this year. Hi everybody, welcome back to A Well Read Nerd. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a FabFitFun unboxing. I have an annual membership, so I might as well share my opinions with you guys. This is for their spring box. Now, as an annual member, I am able to customize my entire box. Do I remember what I customized is the more important question. The answer is always no, I don't remember. They ask you to do it weeks ahead of time, and then by the time the box gets here, I was like, oh, neat, like, I don't know what's in it. So we're going to go over the items that are in the box, and I'll let you know what I think of them. So this is this quarter's box. Uh, this didn't come damaged like this. I took off my shipping label so that no weirdos would know my address. Uh, and it just tore up the box, so that's no biggie. But we're going to go ahead and open this, and we're going to see what's inside. All right, after way longer than I think it should take anybody to cut tape on the box, we're going to go ahead and peek. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have a little extra thing on here because I bought an extra item. Their extra items are usually a good deal. I think I spent $7 on it just a minute. The invoice doesn't actually tell me how much I spent on it, but it tells me it's in there, so that's good. Alright, on top we have some stickers, which will be given to a kid. I'm, I don't, I'm too old for stickers, like who uses those? And then for you guys, there is a promo code for $15 off your first box. So whoever gets that first, go ahead and enjoy. We have our magazine, which I usually don't read. Um, it tells you a little bit about the items. Uh, they got an entire thing about how to use hair clips. Those big chunky ones are back in. Why? I have no idea. Uh, I thought those died the way of boy bands and those weird scrunchies. But the weird scrunchies are back too. Never mind. I've gotten to the point in my life where everything's just a rehash of something that I knew two decades ago. I always drink recipes this month though. I do love to drink. All right, so the first item on top is this. It's a, what is it? It's a 10. <laughs> I always thought it was something else, but it's a, it, it's a 10, uh, which is, I think I got the leave-in conditioner. Yeah, the Miracle leave-in. This I paid extra for, but I have such like dry hair sometimes because of the weather. I figured I'd just splurge and get myself something different. Can't really smell it, but uh, hopefully it'll be good. I've heard great things about this, and I know it's definitely more than $7 when you buy this at the store. So that'll be a good deal right there. More things. I actually do get HelloFresh. If you guys want me to review HelloFresh, I've had them for like a year. I will give you my honest opinion about them. I'm not getting a rep deal from them ever, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just pulling stuff out at random because I, that's just the best way to deal with this. But I have this, and it is in Ico, I think is how it says. It's, it says in Power and Confidence on the back, but it is a shadow stick with sharpener. So let's open this up and see what shade it is. I think this was part of the bundle that I got. Like sometimes they do bundles as the last item, and I just pick something so this must be part of it uh but i'll open it up and see what exact shade it is all right so we got the little sharpener so this is like a straight up pencil and then this is the shade cookies let me see what it looks like all right so that glides on pretty easily um and it's not a bad color so I'll probably use that one. And then we've got the other shade, which is cream. Which is m much more like a goldish color. I'm not sure if that's showing up. It looks gold to me. And it's definitely on the pale side. So there they are next to each other. I'm not sure if that's really... Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, it's neat. I'll give it a try. I don't usually wear eyeliner. Because of a really bad experience I had years ago where I accidentally touched my eyeball with one. I used to do like that thick like raccoon eyeliner a long time ago. Um, 
but yeah i'll give it a try i'll see how it looks all right and then this is part of that bundle too it's just a little like dry brush for your face so this is a really tiny little brush but it feels nice it actually feels really nice um I get really greasy from work, so this will be very handy. Alright, next we have something by... Is it Winky Lux? Yeah, Winky Lux. Get out of the box. Get out of the box. Okay. It's got like these weird little like things in it. It kind of looks like... Does anybody out there remember Orb Soda? No soda? That's what it looks like. It's got a very small applicator. And smells kind of like vanilla. Uh, I'll give it a try. I'll see how it goes. Alright, next we have something from Privé Revu. I'm assuming my French is terrible. Uh, but let's open it up and see what it is. All right, so it comes in a little bag. I think this is sunglasses. I think I chose sunglasses, so we'll give them a try. All right, once I got them out of all the packaging, this is what they look like. Very, like, old-school Hollywood 1950s throwback, but let's put them on and see how they look. All right. I cannot see myself. It's kind of got, like, a green tint to it, which I don't hate. Or at least that's how it looks while I'm trying to look at my face on the monitor. Um, let me know in the comments. Do I have the face for them? I have a rather large face, so big sunglasses are always the way to go. I could kind of see my ring light bouncing off of them. But, yeah, I mean, like, they've got good, like, coverage. Um, I have light-sensitive eyes, so I hate the sun. I'm like a vampire. Um... But, yeah, these will, they should be pretty good for this summer. Uh, they're nice quality. They're thick plastic. Uh, thick plastic on these, too. Nobody makes gla actual glass sunglasses anymore, I don't think. But, yeah, overall, not bad. I'll have to take a picture of myself, though, to make sure they actually look all right on my face. All right, next we have this thing, which is supposed to be an acupuncture pillow. It's, like, beady in there. I'm sure you can hear it. But, uh, my mic's over here. I'm, I'm not just being completely weird. Uh, but these feel very prickly. Like, they're like a hard plastic. Um, I think it's supposed to go, like, behind your neck. So, let's see. Testing that in real time for you guys. Just a moment. I'm not trying to get my hair just tangled from these things if this goes wrong. But you're supposed to put it back here. And it's supposed to help with, like, headaches and stuff. That is very spiky. Like, very spiky. Um. Doesn't feel bad. It just doesn't feel good. I can't imagine putting all my pressure on that. Alright, hair's back down. But, uh, yeah, it, it's very spiky. Um, I, I could easily turn this over and use this side as, like, a little neck pillow. Um, but I don't know. I was excited to try this because I get migraines so bad. But I don't think it's actually going to work. Maybe if I put something over top of it... Like, it'll make it more comfortable, but, um, I can still feel where it pricked me. So, I would say, definitely, if you have any, like, sort of skin sensitivities or anything like I do, uh, this might not be a good item to pick. Except for if you flip it over and use it as a neck pillow. It's a very expensive neck pillow. Uh, also included with it, I got a, I think it's a 30-day, yeah, or, sorry, three-month subscription, free, of a yoga meditation uh you, they require you to have your um putting your credit card information though because in the fine print it says it'll be uh at a monthly discounted price of $8.99 which means you have to enter in all your information and I'm terrible about subscriptions like I have subscriptions to things I don't even use anymore just because I forget they exist like everybody does and so I don't need another thing that I'm not going to use that they're going to pull money on my checking account for so that one I may or may not use I might use it like a couple of times for like the first month and then just get rid of it because I don't want to keep paying for something like that 
Anyway, on to our next item. We have a... It's upside... Is it upside down? No, it's not. Uh, let's see. It's an eye serum. Specifically, a Hypernova. That is some weird font to chew for this because, like, it is very difficult to read. Um, very difficult. Alright, but this is what it looks like. I'm very shiny. Um, and it's got this weird little, like, applicator thing, so I'm assuming you, like, press it. Let's see. Maybe you twist it? It twists. There's a... Alright, I give up. Uh, I'll play around with that later and maybe insert something that lets you know what it's like. But, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you if I can't get it out of the tube, so that in itself tells you something. People make it easier to get it out of the tube. Alright, next we have a spoon rest from... Uh... I'm going to go with Repose Coulier. Like I said, French is not my strong suit. I can read Latin, Greek, speak enough German to get by, and if I absolutely have to, I could survive in Switzerland for 24 hours. But French is not my thing. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's just a very cute little spoon rest. Um, Ever since the pandemic hit, I've been trying to eat at home more, so I've been cooking more. Uh, I don't actually have one of these, which is the reason why I got this. So this will be nice, so I'm not constantly having to clean, like, smudge up off my stove. So overall, a good item. Okay, so we have one item left, which has silica packet in it. I'm going to have to pick up later. It is a robe, and if you give me a minute, I'll try it on. Now, I'm a size 16, 14, 16, depending on the manufacturer. Um, so, I picked a large, extra large for this. So, I'll, we'll see how it fits over top of the sweatshirt and everything. Okay, so it's not a bad fit. It's kind of, like, weirdly tight, yet weirdly loose on me. Um, which, I've got a weird body structure anyway, so, meh. Uh, but, yeah, it feels a little tight up here, see? But it's, like, very loose down in, like, the bust area. So, I don't know. My, my shoulders are too wide for them. But it feels nice. It looks nice. Um, I picked the blue. They had a pink and a blue. I picked the blue with, like, the red flowers on it. Let me see. Um, because I liked it better. If they had it in black, I would have liked that even better. But Fab Fit Fun is more on the girly side of things. Um, what I mean is they pick a lot of pastels and things like that, which aren't really my thing. Um, so I take what I can get. In this case, it is dark blue. I think I kind of look like a 1950s housewife. I'm not mad at it. Not really. But, <laughs> it is something. But yeah, overall, it's a nice robe. I'll be great for, you know, when I'm lounging around and stuff this spring and the summer where it's sometimes cool here in the mornings so it, it's something nice to have all right now i'm going to keep the glasses up there because i feel like it um we're going to get into the thing that everybody always wants to talk about when it comes to fab fit fun and that is how much value did i get for my money all right so on their website they say each box has up to a 275 or 79 dollar value my box is, according to their calculation, $437.95. That's a little bit more than, you know, $270 something. But we're going to go down, we're going to look at a breakdown of everything that's on here, and like you can see what the value of all the items were. Also, I did pay extra for one item that was $7, so you have to factor that into the overall cost of the box. So I pay for a yearly subscription i pay once a year um for all four boxes i think it breaks down to like 49 dollars per box so then tack on another seven dollars on top of that so like 
$56 is the equivalent that I spent on this box. But, okay, let's look at the items and see. All right, since they're still in my head, the sunglasses were $39.95. Not bad for a pair of sunglasses. I've definitely owned more expensive sunglasses in my life. Back when I had less money now, but even less understanding of how much things should actually cost. But they are nice. They're well made, so I'll get a lot of use out of them. All right, next we have this pinchy thing that I can still feel on the back of my neck. This is $49 according to that, but it includes, the, the cost includes the three months of the audio meditation that they assume you're going to use. So I don't know what the overall value of this is. Like I said, the cart said $8.99 per month, so, so like a $20 pillow. All right, next we have the spoon rest in gray which is thirty dollars which seems a little expensive like don't get me wrong like it's ceramic it's nice but like thirty dollars for something i could get at home goods for like 15 20 you get what i mean um sometimes the cost of things is literally only the brand that it comes from but they say it's worth thirty dollars all right, next we have the eye serum, the Hypernova eye serum. This is $36, which seems about on par with other like specialty serums and stuff like that. I've tried a lot of things over the years. I used to have an Ipsy subscription, which is a whole other thing. Um, I might do a retrospective on that one day. Um, spoiler alert, uh, it's probably not going to be pleasant about the company. But... Yeah, like $36, like they sell eye creams at Walmart that are within this price range, so whatever. All right, so these three things right here, the lip gloss, little face brush, and the little eyeliner thing, $63. I know inflation is going through the roof right now, but... Like, breaking that down, that's like, what, $21 a piece? This is $21? You're telling me this is $21. This, I believe, is $21. It looks sparkly. Like, people will pay any price for sparkly things. Uh, the crayon, eh. Like, that looks more like a $10 thing to me. But, maybe $15. Uh, again, it's all about the brand. I know Winky Lux is, like, a not really expensive brand but like a more well-known brand so like yes their stuff's going to be expensive and i can't even remember what company put out this dry brush daily concepts it's vegan okay but like vegan doesn't mean anything it just means it's made out of wooden plastic uh but yeah i just that seems like a lot of money for three items oh well let's keep going the It's a 10, which I'm still not sure whether or not it is cruelty-free, um, is $22. I spent 7 on it, which is less than half of the value. So there is that, and overall that's a good value for it. Alright, the last item to price out is the robe, which is now sitting on my lap balled up. Uh, I'll hang it up later. The price of this is almost unfathomable. $198 is the price that they say this robe is. $198. It's a Morgan Lane Alley. Uh, I looked at the label. It's made in China. It's made of polyester. You want to know what else is made of polyester and made in China? Pretty much everything at every discount store. So, I mean, does it feel nice and everything else? Yes, it's just $198 seems a bit extreme. If it had said $70 or $80, I would have been like, yeah, sure. Like, that seems legitimate. But $198? Who's spending $198 on a robe? I mean, like, I know I have my issues and my overspending of money. Uh, however, do you know how many books I can buy for $198? If I buy them used, like, I mean, you're talking a tote's worth of books. If you buy them new, that's still, like, 
let's see, 20 bucks a pop from the local bookstore. Five. That's almost 10 books right there for one rub. But anyway, <clears throat> that's how much I say it costs, and I will use it because it's so expensive. That's just how I was raised. But anyway, that's it for today's unboxing for the spring FabFitFun. Opinion. I still don't like their spring box. Last year it sucked. This year it kind of sucked. I mean, like, yeah, it was a lot of money value. Yes, I got a few things I really like. Um, the pillow from hell will probably end up getting burnt. Um, but overall, like, um, they just fall flat with spring. I don't know what it is. There's always a lot of makeup items which are fine, but like don't cater to everybody. This year they included a company, Beauty X Fenty, that does more tonally inclusive makeup palettes, which is good. Um, but like that's not really what I'm into as far as like makeup palettes and stuff. I have plenty of them. I barely use them. But like that stuff is it, it's not really my thing. They always leaned more hard into that this time of year. And it just kind of isn't my vibe. Their fall and winter boxes are by far their best boxes. There's always a wide variety of nice items. But like it's just the spring and it's to a lesser extent the summer just aren't really what I would consider their A game when it comes to the subscription. Um, there's that. Like, I mean, like I said, I got some things I'm going to use and stuff like that, but I would say that if you're going, if you do not want to customize your entire box, one, do not get a yearly subscription. Um, I am a control freak about some things and I like to customize my own box and it's easier for me to budget for a whole year than it is, you know, every quarter because I forget things. So there's that. And with that, if you're going to subscribe, do a month to month if you don't want that customization. Because then when these boxes come out, you can see for yourself what the items are in them and then you can just pass. You can just skip that quarter and wait for the next one and save yourself some money. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. What were your thoughts about the FabFitFun spring quarterly box? Words are difficult. Um, like I said, like it's better than last year. Last year sucked. Is it the greatest one I've ever gotten from the company? No, by far not. Um, however, there was a lot of usable items in here that I will enjoy and I will, you know, get some use out of. So that's the important thing. I spent my money on it. I'll use it. But that's going to be it for today. Um, if you would like, leave a comment ask me a question, give your opinion about the items in the box. If you liked any of them, if you thought they were stupid, uh, go ahead, start a fight down there. I've, I've yet to have a fight in my comment section. You guys seem mostly pleasant when you comment on my videos, uh, which is nice because other areas of the internet aren't so nice. But yeah, go ahead, start a fight with each other about which one's better, the, you know, spoon holder or the robe or whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you want to leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, uh, do all that kind of fun stuff. Help me with the algorithmic gods that control whether or not people see my videos. They are cruel and capricious gods and only vaguely understood with their machinations. But yeah, you know, it's fun. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say bye and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. crazy for thinking that's too expensive for a robe, right? Like, who still really, like, wears a robe? Like, only people on episodes of Cops and rich people who don't have anything to do with all day long. So, like, this mid-tier robe, I don't really know who it's marketed towards.
the questions of the universe.